for 12 ounces of salad greens. And at first I was going to double this recipe. I got to thinking, a bag of spring mix is like 5.5 .5 ounces. Well, this is a 16 ounce spring mix. This, everybody knows, if you've been coming email the time, these are my favorite. These containers keep salad so well. I don't know why, but it keeps, and this salad, when you start taking it out of this package, it multiplies. <laughs> it multiplies. So I'm going to go ahead and take just a little bit out. It is. It is. You get your money's worth. You really do. I'm going to take about half of that out right now. We'll put some more in just a minute. Get my apples. I've got a couple of apples. I put a little lemon juice on them. Two whole apples. I've cored them and sliced them real thin. We're going to put these in here. These are red delicious. Okay, kind of mix that up just a little bit and add some more. Because I've been known to do a punch bowl full of salad and then have to try to stir the dressing, trying to figure out how I'm going to stir it. All right. So this makes a lot. So you can cut this down. And the dressing we're going to make, normally, you would make in a mason jar and just store the rest of it in your refrigerator for about a week. And uh, I didn't bring a mason jar tonight, so unfortunately. You shake it and, and save it that way. All right, half a cup of pecan pieces. I'm gonna put them in. I'll leave the pecans with it. Pecans do add to our salad. And then I've got some blue cheese. We've got many different kinds of blue cheese in our bakery daily. We also have it in our dairy department. Um, this Salemville is a new Amish cheese that we have, and then this is the Alouette blue cheese that's crumbled. Then we have some other blue cheeses that get darker and stronger also, and range in a wide variety of prices. Um, I believe this one is, a, before you ask Nancy, is about, <laughs> I think it's $3.49 a container. This other one I think is, is under $4 also. Um, so, you know, not real bad. I didn't like blue cheese till I became an adult. And now I really like it, it but I didn't like it. Hated the smell of it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna add some dried cranberries. Is that about a fourth a cup? I usually add a little more. You can also use dried cherries. Uh, dried cherries are wonderful in this recipe. Another item that was wiped out today. There was a run on dried cherries. We had tons of dried cherries the other day. So I guess there's some kind of event that people are... I just like to add these according to how much I like. And I really like dried cranberries. But dried cherries kind of... They're tart and sweet at the same time. And there's several different kinds. I'll just throw them all in there. Y'all know how I am. I'll just throw it all in there. All right. Now, on to our dressing. Super easy dressing. Maybe a little more difficult to mix up because I didn't bring my mason jar. But that's all right. We can improvise. Just gonna put it in here. All right, we have a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of maple syrup, a teaspoon of apple cider, all that's in here, a little salt, a little pepper, and a fourth a cup of olive oil. Real easy to make. And that's why it's real easy to put in a, a mason jar. Because like I said, then you can shake it and you're done. This just really is a nice accompaniment to apples. Since we are serving a large crowd, most of the time you just add a little bit and toss, but I'm going to add quite a bit tonight since we have a large crowd. Kind of let that soak down in there. Okay. Gorgeous salad. And if you're looking for something to feed a crowd, this is the way to go. All right, so that is our apple pecan and blue cheese salad and the pecans on the side. <laughs>